When it comes to student assessments, let's talk about using colors, text, comments, and audio recording. So when students complete something in NoteFlight Learn, right, there's, uh, there's lots of ways you can give students feedback. And so to start, what I'm going to do is show you an example of what it looks like for a teacher who's looking at a student's work and wants to give them some feedback. So I'm actually going to pull up from earlier. I showed you that activity template feature. And let me pull this here. Oh, I made changes earlier. So I'm going to go and say, all right, let me find a student who did a thing. Sydney. It's been a while since I looked at Sydney. So let's say I want to give student feedback. Now, looks like I already have shown a couple things. So I'm going to delete this so I can show you how this works again. First thing I like to talk about is colors. The color palette in Note Flight Learn is a really great way to identify sections of music. So if you want to call out a measure, you can make it blue right you can have a color coding system if this is a composition this could be there's passing tones color passing tones blue color roots of chords green you could i mean you know there's lots of research about red being upsetting but you can color things that are wrong red whatever you want to do right um the other option is when you're commenting on a student's score you could use and my face is in the way the comments panel so a lot of times if i want to like I'll color something red and I'll do like this red um, something about what they did and I think of anything fancy but that's a comment about the red notes so colors are a great way to codify the other thing you can do is put in like you know red equals wrong you could like create like a codified example here in the comments and that way students know what that means totally up to you right um, text in the text, there's several different types of text. Um, the one that you'll find the most useful is this idea of just performance text, because that's kind of the most common. And you could, T is the shortcut, T for text. So you could just hit T and type a word. So if you want to do a quick thing, and this is move aroundable, can be moved around, move aroundable. And notice you can like position it differently. So you might type something right on here for students. That's another way to provide feedback. Let's say you want to give them some feedback, but you don't want a lot of words on the score. That's when this annotation comes in. So I'm going to select this note again. In text, you can hit annotation. And now you can type all sorts of things. And you have a little freeform text box. And you can go and go and go. Notice it'll scroll. And it's there. So now there's this little like, hey, there's an annotation here. And that's all the information and it shows who gave the information at what time. You could also have multiple students give annotations and you can see who gave it at what time. So uh, you have lots of text options. The other thing I'll show you is this idea of prompt, right? You can show a prompt, which is instructions for the beginning of a score. You could also, you have text blocks before or after a system. So if you want to like, say something before the system i can do text box before system and this gives me a block to type lots and you can type lots of words the other thing here is that this block auto formats so you can even make a number list how many things did you get wrong let me count the rates well one you did this two you didn't do this maybe it could be positive two three we did this you can create this number list and i'll just keep going a little bit and notice note flight will format around it. So you have a text block and note flight will automatically format everything, right? The last thing I'll share is that if you'd like to audio record feedback to a student, remember you could totally use that recording feature we just talked about. So you could record right to the student staff if it's like a composition thing, or you could go in and give a quick part doesn't matter the instrument you pick you could call this feedback right create a quick feedback part and essentially you have a feedback line you go into record mode and here's another power tip by default record mode does not let you hear um, what the student did but you can of course go in and say you know what I want to hear the students playing while they play back and you just hit record and you can just start talking and you just have a blank track of talking, but 
it's cool. So let me, I don't know what this demo audio is. So we're going to have a, a, an adventure on this. So let me show how this works. I've selected this and I'm going to be like a judge's tape, right? Wow. That's great. Wow. That's John. That's my voice as demoing this before, which is awesome. The irony of me already having demoed voice comments on this score is incredible. Now, the thing I wanted to show you is remember the parts panel where you can hide this? Well, guess what? Just hide it. Now the student sees their part, but they can hear the teacher talking right over it. So now you've created the ability to talk directly to your students and give them feedback, especially if they're practicing for like solo and ensemble and that idea of a judge talking over your performance, you can create that entire experience, right? So just pointing out that that's a really um, cool, cool option. All right, so that is giving student feedback with colors, text, comments, and audio recording.